Hey everyone, Dana back with the OT Guide. Today I'm gonna to show a really cool resource I've been using for the past year to target emotional regulation skills and impulse control. The company is called Centervention and they've created online interactive video games for students in kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. It's research-based, it's evidence-based, and it's really fun for the kids. So typically when I'm working on emotional regulation skills, I'll turn to the alert program or the zones of regulation, two amazing programs I recommend you check out. This program stands apart because it's a video game and it's interactive. So for my students that are into video games, which is the vast majority of them, Centervention and the games they've created actually resonate a little bit more. So the purpose of this video is I'm gonna show you a demo of one of the games so you get an idea of what it looks like. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you all the free resources Centervention has to offer. So let's check it out. All right, welcome to Zoo U. This is for students in second through fourth grade, and this game is 10 bucks. So let's play it. So there's an entire principles introduction that I'm not gonna click on just to save time, but I'm just gonna give you a little background. So each of these animals represents a different social skill and all of these levels underneath the animals are locked scenes. So the social skills that I primarily focus on are emotional regulation, which is the chameleon and impulse control, which is this octopus, but they also have communication, social initiation, cooperation, and other good skills in these scenes. But basically how it works is is you'll complete a scene and then at the end you'll have a conversation with the principal of Zoo University and he'll let you know how you did and he'll give you feedback okay so um, and then you can earn one two or three stars depending on the responses you made in that particular scene and then I also just wanted to show you this avatar builder here this is really cool. So this is my avatar. Uh, the kids get to design their own avatar, which really increases buy-in with the program. But basically you create your avatar and you walk around the world completing these scenes, making decisions as if it were you in this situation. And then at the very end, you get some feedback. All right, it's finally recess. Time to play. So here's my avatar and I get to decide where she's gonna go. So let's go to the soccer field first. All right, let's see if we can interact with our classmates here. Hey, can I play too? Nah, we have all the players we need. Hmm, which one should I do? I'm gonna do this one. Come on, you haven't even started yet. Come on, you haven't even started yet. We're going to go ahead and play with the teams we have. Hmm. Okay. But I want... Okay. But I want to play too! Come on! No, we have our team set up. Go play something else. Those kids are just mean for not letting me play. That really made me feel... You're pretty angry. Sad. Happy. Angry. How angry does that make me feel? Yeah, angry. Really angry. What should I do now? Let's go try basketball. Let's interact with these friends. So, can I play or not? Huh? We aren't ready to start a new game yet. Sure, I understand. Some other time. Sure, I understand. Some other time. Wait, we need more people. Come on and join the game. Good to see you. Let's review what just happened. All right. Today's recess was a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? Yes. You had to deal with some disappointment before you could have fun. Having good emotion regulation skills can make a huge difference when you're facing a disappointment. Remember... Being a good emotion regulator means you're able to identify your own feelings and manage them so that you're able to reach your goal. There are lots of strategies for managing your emotions. Let's see how you did. One of the best ways to manage your emotions is to take a moment for yourself to stop and think. In the future, when your emotions get too big, 
Find a quiet place to collect your thoughts and feelings. So now that you guys have sampled one of their programs, I just wanted to show you all the resources, the free resources that they have to offer, as well as their other programs. So as you can see, they have five different games to choose from, depending on the age of your student or child. So they have uh, programs for kindergartners, second graders. Uh, SS Grid is one I played with a third grader, and she loved it. They have middle school games, as well as they have a game designed specifically for students with autism. Um, if you want to try a game without purchasing it, you can always email them and they'll give you like a several week long trial, even maybe a month long trial. And then I also just wanted to point out the free resources they have. So if you go to their homepage and then click free resources, uh, Centervention has pages and pages of free downloadable activities uh, that have to do with communication, cooperation, impulse control, uh, emotional regulation. I have had a lot of success with these activities. My students have really liked them and I've found that they're most successful when I pair it with the game. Um, but yeah, empathy, uh, dealing with disappointment. They have a lot of mindfulness uh, and grounding activities as well. Really, they just have pages of it. But as you can see, Centervention is a really cool program. I highly recommend you check it out. And I hope you guys had fun, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!